Morning everybody, Mr Allen here. Hope you're all doing safe and well and managed to keep fit in the lockdown period. It's gone on much longer than I first anticipated and as a result I'm getting slightly bored of the same activities that I seem to be doing on a daily and weekly basis. Joe Wicks isn't as fun anymore, the same runs, the same routes, the same cycles, the same walks are getting a little bit tedious. So what we've come up with in the P department is a set of new challenges for you to get involved with over the next five weeks. These challenges, they're aimed at improving your fitness, but also aimed at trying to improve some of the skills that you've got. Um, they're designed to be quite difficult, some of them, so you spend a little bit of time of practicing so you can master the skills that we set. Hopefully it should be a little bit of fun, but also something just to keep you entertained and to try and keep you a little bit more focused on maintaining your fitness. Obviously in lockdown, everybody's talking about mental health, but also physical health will deteriorate if you are not keeping fit and doing lots of exercise. And I know there's some of you out there who've been doing loads, but I would also imagine there's a lot of you that are not really taking part. So this is designed to be a little bit of fun, to keep you engaged, and it's also something you're gonna be able to use when we're back in school, fingers crossed, whenever that may be. So what will happen is, one of the PE teachers is gonna release two videos a week on a Monday. We're gonna release this onto our Chipping Stoppery PE YouTube page. I'm going to email out all of the students, all of the staff, um, the link to this page so that you can watch the tutorials for the skills for that week. So for week one it might be myself and I will release a fitness challenge so it'll be some sort of physical activity you can do two or three times that week and I'll also release a skills challenge. So these are designed as I said earlier for you to um, improve things like hand-eye coordination, um, things like juggling, things like football kick-ups. We'll release them as we go, but as I said, a little bit of fun, but also to really help focus you on uh, developing certain aspects of your skill, which can be transferable in all areas of sport. So the plan is that I'll release them one week and there'll be another teacher and the next week, etc. These are for all students. They're not for um, just one year group. Every single student can do them. They might be easy for some of you. Some might find them hard. So if it is easy, try and just make it that little bit harder for you. We will give you some ideas of how you can differentiate it, how you can make it easier, make it harder so you can all take part. But what we'd like you to do is to keep a video or a picture diary or a log of some sort. We do not want you to send them in on a weekly basis because our memory storage on our emails and our go for just don't have the capacity to hold that all. So you're gonna keep this running log, running diary. And what we're gonna do is when we get back to school, we're then gonna start investigating who's done what, who's done what fitness, who's managed to master the skills, and there'll be opportunities to gain house points for the work that you've done. So as I said, we'll set this every single Monday. We really hope you can get involved and take part. It's aimed at not just you, but also other family members as well. So sometimes we might ask you to go out of the house if it's safe for you to do so, and if you're fit and well enough, you might wanna take a family member with you, as you can now do. Uh, maybe to film you, maybe to help get your video log, but also to get you involved in the activities as well. Should be pretty self-explanatory. We will email you out as we go along the weeks. But um, all that's left to say to, for me is good luck. We hope you enjoy the challenges and hope you all stay safe and well. And we'll see you soon. Take care.